morning i finished the sparkly headband i love it absolutely love it i've made it slightly looser than the tropical one because the tropical one's a little bit too tight and it pulls ever so slightly which kind of distorts the entrelac squares so this one i like made it a little bit looser really really happy with it yeah okay so Daryl's off school because of this fucking cold that's going around. He is absolutely full of snot, coughing. He seems fine in himself. So I'll probably send him back tomorrow. So Kyle is at mine watching Daryl, Dolly and Isis. And I'm off to my mum's. And mum and I are going to go and do the Christmas food shop. All the frozen stuff so that we've got most of it now. The reason for this is because we are going back into the mask mandate so you now have to wear masks as of tomorrow on public transport in shops it's getting colder people are getting sick and my mum wants to go back into a sort of self-isolation just to protect herself really so she said could i take her out today and we'll get like everything rather fresh fruit and veg really well fresh veg um you know we'll get what we can and go from there so you know get the turkey anything else that we need and uh, yeah do that <coughs> so we're gonna go to tesco's because that's really the biggest shop on the island is the big tesco's so yeah we're gonna do that today i probably won't film it because i'll be fighting with a trolley and my mum on a scooter <laughs> oh, sorry yeah, I'll see you in a bit. It's ten to one. Shattered. Shopping is done. Um, we spent a lot of money. <laughs> um, yeah, I like shopping at Tesco's because you get like deals just because you've got a club card. So we spent like 180 pounds and then got 20 pounds off because club card. And then I had a voucher as well from school. So that's cool. Yeah. So we ended up spending about 90 pounds. 40 quid on that was alcohol and fizzy drinks for Christmas. We've got lots of biscuits and chocolate. What do you Christmas is going to be weird this year. It's going to be weird. Because Callie and I've told Callie have Christmas at home because it's their first Christmas as a family. You know, it's not Nathaniel's first Christmas. It's their first Christmas in their flat. So I said, have Christmas Day at yours. So she's coming to us on Christmas Eve. And then um, my son, Matt, won't be joining us. I'll go straight out. Um, so I'll just debate which way to go. Yeah, my son, Matt, can't join us this year. And of course, Arnie's not going to be here. So it's going to be a really quiet Christmas. It's going to be weird. It's the first Christmas we've not all been together. And that includes Arnie. Arnie's spent most Christmases with us well apart from most Christmases um, oh my word I've got a <laughs> um, since he was about 13 you know 15 years he's been coming to mine on Christmas and I've made him cake and you know what I mean it's going to be hard this, this year's going to be hard it's going to be in some ways it's going to be nice because it's going to be quiet but then in other ways it's going to be really hard so I don't know but anyway, we'll keep it as jolly as we can. I'm gonna go and grab something to eat. I'm starving, absolutely famished. Um, yeah, I've got two bags down the road that is just all baking ingredients because I bake a lot of cake for Christmas. Um, my mum loves alcoholic Dundee cake. So I'll be one of those. Um, my sister wants one. And then I'll have sort of several spare, so yeah. Alex won't eat a whole one, but I'll make a whole one anyway, and then you can share it with my mum because she goes through Dundee Gate like nobody's business. And then I don't know what I'm going to do with her. Oh, so I might just give it to Alex to take to the wrestling group because I don't know whether they'll do a Christmas thing together. He took some last time and they fucking scoffed it. <laughs> So, yeah, I might do that. Uh, 
and then I got I make a chocolate cake and then I make almond slice as well so yeah lots of cooking baking lots of baking oh, it's gonna be a long tiring Christmas it always is uh, and the trouble is the majority of it can't be done beforehand you know because it'll all go off or whatever I mean the Dundee cakes I could probably do and you know store them in a safe container outside because the coldness will, and the alcohol will keep them preserved but they're just not fresh to me so yeah. never mind really home I'm gonna pop to the shop grab some food and go in and see my boys my eldest and my youngest kept Daryl off today because of this snot fest and coffee's got going on but I think I'll be sending him back tomorrow because he's okay in himself I mean he was a bit Ooh, this morning but he soon packed up and Carl turned up so I think he'll be alright at school so I am so tired now oh, I've got so many steps I need to do so much else Anyhow, fuck, it's with people doing this, like, I'm watching, I've been watching some YouTube videos, and nearly everyone I've watched today has this, like, minute-long intro, and they've been hair videos, so you've got somebody standing there going like this, doing all this crap, with super, super loud music, and then you get to the speak part, and you get, hi, welcome to my channel, because they've got it down too low. You know, when you edit your videos, make sure your volume is all roughly the same. Yeah, because I'm turning it down when you've got your crap fucking music on and then turning it back up again when you mouse talk because you've got the microphones too far away or you haven't bothered to up the voice volume on your fucking editing. It pisses me off. It's really late. I don't quite know what happened there, but it's midnight. I've just added a little bit of um, bulk there because I had this sort of weird lump where it joined onto my hair so this is the dread that i made from Elle's hair and i'll tell you what it's like her hair was just made of fiber because it's dreaded so well really really well i'd love to dread her entire head i really would i'd love for her to grow her hair out and allow me to dread it that would be amazing because her hair just i've never known her to dread that quickly it's dreaded up, it's it's well tight, it's locked, it's great. I wish when she cut it, she had put it in the ponytail instead of just cutting hunks and chucking it in the bag. So that I could have actually made like some extensions with it. But because my two little ones back here driving me bonkers. Because they're just tickling my neck, these ones. Look, look at it, look. It tickles my neck and it drives me mad. Go on then. But we're off to bed now. This is bedtime. We're all locked up. You've got my slippers down here. I think that's been out and she's just scoffing her face before she goes and passes out on my bed somewhere. Oh, Nikki's still up. It's late for her. So yeah, I'm off to bed and I will see you in the morning. Late to date. I think it's Tuesday. Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday. <laughs> I am rocking a new look today. I have done my makeup but no eyeshadow. But I have lightened all around my eyes. And I've done all the other stuff, so I just put some gloss on. I'm rocking a new hair look, which I shamelessly robbed the method but not the tools off of somebody else. Um I'm surprised I never thought of doing it this way, but there you go. It's very comfortable and I think it'll stay there all day. The tool I would love to have off of her, I'm not gonna say who it is or what it is, but um, yeah, trouble is she's in the States and she wants $30 for the tool itself. It's basically like a thing you put in your hair and then another $30 to ship it. And I was like, I'm not paying $60, i.e. nearly 50 quid for something I'm gonna use to plunk my hair up with. So I thought, I wonder if it would work with a scrunchie and it did. And it feels pretty secure, it doesn't feel like it's going to go anywhere. And if it does, I can always, you know, tie it back in. So, the plan for today was going to go into town, but it's 
grey and miserable and I've got Dolly and I'm just like I could walk in but then it's like what would I do with the dogs while I need to go shops so I think I'll wait until tomorrow when I've got my car because Alex has got my car at the moment and um <coughs> excuse me and um I've got nail appointment, so I think I'll do it all then. You know, go into town, in Shanklin, grab my meds, grab a few other bits and bobs, um, and I need to go to Sainsbury's on the way home because I need some fruit for smoothies. I've not had a smoothie for ages, so yeah. But uh, yeah, I feel good today. Tired. I, um, I go to bed till gone midnight, so it's about half twelve, I think, when I went to sleep, which is really late for me. So, yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> wait for all the other mums, I'm, um, he's on my sea pop every night, basically until around about 5, 6 a.m., because that's when my cat wakes me up. This morning I used it until half six, so not bad, and my alarm goes off like 15 minutes later, so, yeah, wasn't bad at all. Um, seeing the effects yet but then you know I've only just really started reusing it all the time so it could be apparently it could take up to three months but I've got the up with the CPAP clinic on the 16th of December I think it is um, which is when the OPW Christmas Carnage event is still really nervous about um so yeah that's when i'm gonna see them next the only trouble plunking your hair up is if you get an itch you can't get to it it's quite dark in here isn't it um so yeah that's when i'm seeing them next i think I started time blocking in my calendar. I was using a mix of <coughs> my calendar and always, but then the trouble with that is, is that I have to use always as a complication. And it's a bit annoying. And I can only put one thing on always at a time. You can't, can't do more than one thing at a time on always. So, which was okay when it was like a calendar and O waves, but when I want to put like several things at once, you know, it it's a bit of a pain. So I'm trying to use my calendar on my phone now to block it all. Um, and I sit every night and just like copy things over, like the regular get up, charge my watch, have my meds, do the morning routine, do the school run, pick up Dolly, which I've got to do in a minute. Um so yeah it's it's okay i guess um why are we looking at like next week actually why are we looking at christmas let's go to this week. there we go um yeah yeah um and my uh, my my bugbear with the calendar as well oh, my hair's falling down my bugbear with the calendar is that um you have a call i let go now i've got to go all the way back to school to pick up daryl because he has a cough and i've got to arrange a pcr test i wouldn't know how to arrange a pcr test other than taking him to newport and i don't have my car my son has it so oh fuck's sake i've got to go all the way back to school and fucking collect him and yet they, when I phoned yesterday and said, oh, he's got a coffee, he's full of snot. They were like, oh yeah, yeah, you know, if you're going to keep him off, you know, let us know. <coughs> I get why, you know, and if anybody else had symptoms of COVID, I would want one. But it's a cold, I've got it. It's not fucking COVID. We have to be exposed to COVID because we haven't been anywhere. <sighs> okay, here we go. That's what I was saying, wasn't it? Um, about the calendar. <coughs> um, 
カレンダー Oh, yeah, my only bugbear with the Apple calendar and I don't know how to change this is when I'm in the middle of an appointment the calendar moves on to the next appointment you know, shows me the next appointment and I'm like no, I want you to show me what I should be doing right now you know I don't know any way around that. Does anybody else? Post. Posty, post, post. I think I know what this is. Well, I know what one of them is. What about the other one? Oh, shoosh. Keyboard's in the way. more uh, chewy vitamins for Daryl and a bottle of Shea Moisturising Shampoo for me. Good -o. And Amazon. It was awake. Oh! I ordered hoha bat oil for my hair to go in some of my sprays because apparently hoha bat oil is like one of the best ones to help seal in moisture in your hair. So, you know, I'm learning lots. Hi, you! Well, he's just stolen the wrap of this came in. I did tell your mum you just stolen my wrap up. No. I'll get that back off for in a sec. Should chew it. So yeah, I bought this. It's whole hapa oil. I don't hang on, I'll just get up. Oi! Not yours, is it? Oh, moo just snuck over and like stole it. <laughs> oh, it's come in a proper droppy bottle with a pipette. And a thing that I can't open because, you know, it's too fucking tight and it doesn't tear. I hate things like this. now because if not oh that's quite quite subtle isn't it ho ho boil so lovely that's good then so i've got my shampoo i've got my ho ho boil to make up a new spray that's fab so that my journal lovely there we go um i've started making a spreadsheet up i'm quite pleased with it actually and it's uh, it's basically Goodreads but on my computer and you might be asking, well, why the fuck are you doing that? Um, because Goodreads, I don't like the order in which everything is stored. I don't like the way in which it's all set out and all of that lot. So the way that I've done it is, um, let's just take you up to, there you go. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so here's my screen. Now, what we start off with is a, for example, Let's go to the Black Griffin. This is a book by Mercedes Lackey. I'm just going to angle you a little bit more. So I'm using my tripod, so this is all a bit. So you've got the Black Griffin. So here you've got the book jacket, the title, um, which series it is goes in this box here. And because these three books all come from the same series, I've merged that cell together on there where it says the maid wars 
I've also merged the author because obviously they're all by the same author. Then I've given each book um, a rating of five stars. Now I've merged this cell together and this is my would you reread it cell. Yeah. Um, and basically you tick whether you would or whether you wouldn't. Um, so you can see it top there. So you, you've got, oops. I just, I just, I don't even know how I did that. How on earth did I manage that? I obviously, uh, for fuck's sake. I do this kind of shit and then wonder how the hell I managed it. I've got too much shit on my desk because I can't even move my table. Um, zoom in. Um, oh, for fuck's sake. You have to go through the tedium of going like that. Well, that's what I pressed. I pressed that and nothing happened. Go away. I hate when I do shit like this and then I can't figure out what I did. I did it on my mouse, so, you know. Okay, right, we are back to it. So, as you can see, we've got the book jacket, then the book title, then the name of the series. So there's the next book jacket, then the name of the author. Then you've got the rating, okay? So um, how many stars I give this out of five? Then would I reread it? Now I've merged that particular cell there because um, if I'm gonna read one, I would read all of them because it's a trilogy. Then what I put is what is on the book jacket according to Amazon, because I've just copied and pasted it from there. And then over in this, um, in this column is going to be my comments on it yeah and then over here in the format is um yeah basically is it a kindle is it a paperback is it um an audio book or you know and anything like that so that's how it looks i'm really pleased with it really 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 pleased with it hang on let me just put my tripod down and then i can show you properly so yeah i'm really pleased with how it looks Hi. 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 Hang on, hang on, hang on, because I'm doing this. The only thing I might do is standardise the size of the book jackets because they sort of go dependent on what size the blurb is or what size the biggest um, row is, you know? So I don't really know. I don't really know whether to make more standard or not. And maybe you could scroll the the i don't know i'm not sure what do you think tell me what you think should i make the rows like all the same size so that when you get to the bit about the blurb or my comments you have to actually scroll would, would that work i don't know but then would that work with the merged ones as well it should do if I go up here and say, can I, I see, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, I don't, I know some bits about, um, um, ugh. I'll get there in the end. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, so you can scale it. Mm. Um, what do you call them? I do know a little bit about like spreadsheets, but not a huge lot. So I have to learn as I go as well, which is um, not always easy. Anyway, what do you what do you think? Do you you know do you like it? Is that something that you know you like? It's very easy to do, and I could teach you how to do this on 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 a numbers spreadsheet excel's pretty much the same thing so yeah and if this is something you'd be interested in let me know it's really easy to do hello um i'm just here to tell you why i'm not at school right now <coughs> yeah that cough i just done 
that's why I'm not at school. I'm going to have a test and stick something right up my nose. I'm still looking forward to that. <laughs> I'm so scared about that. It's fine, you'll be fine. We'll do it we'll do it tomorrow. I'll show you what to expect on we'll show, do a video. Yeah, you've done it before. Yeah, I've had it before. It's not it's easy peasy peasy. But basically he's gotta have a PCR test. There are no walk in appointments anywhere. Put that down please. There are no walk in appointments. So I've had to order one to come to the house, which will hopefully arrive tomorrow. And then I gotta post it back. Crossed. And we probably won't get the results until Friday. So he's going to miss a week of school because of this cough. Now, I phoned the school yesterday and I said to them, because he didn't go in yesterday. And I said to them um, that I was keeping him off because he was full of snot and coughing. And they were like, oh, lovely. And I know the teacher specifically who it was that I spoke to. And she said, oh, lovely. And I said, well, you can have him if you want. And she laughed and she said, no, thank you. And never once did they say, if he's got a cough, we need a PCR test never once so the, it's a day wasted in, in my view if they'd said yesterday look he needs to have a bcr test if he's got a cough you know because i don't know the 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 rules change every five minutes so i'm not aware of what's going on and any of that so i've had to order one so yeah so he's home now this week so yeah kiss kiss we will do another vlog later on today will we Yes, she does. She didn't know. And Dolly just licked me. Dolly down did. We, we did kisses with Dolly, didn't we? And she actually poked you. Yeah, she did. With her nose. She did. Right. So say goodbye then and say see Bye. you later on. Bye. See you later on. Thankfully, according to. Um, guidelines because i looked at this morning i don't have to isolate because i'm double jabbed which is a relief because i've got an appointment tomorrow so i will wear my mask and i will go along with that so post today what did i get i got this shea moisture and it's manuka honey and mafura oil intensive hydration shampoo with fig extract and bao bao bab bao bab oil i think it is and i've had a look I've opened it and had a look and it's nice and runny so I don't know how well you can see that you see how runny that is so I don't know if that's going to need to be watered down much I may move it into one of my because oh, I bought these sauce bottles um, so that I could water it down if it needed to be but I don't honestly think it's going to need it if I bought these but I would definitely water down some conditioner and use that in my hair. Um, this is about 250 more size bottles and I got a pack of two foot six off of um, Amazon. So yeah, I don't think that's going to need to be watered down. I'm gonna pour some of it into one of these bottles and see how watery it is. Um, because I think it'll just be easier to use one of those and it will be this and I can also control how much I use then as well. I got my jojoba oil. oil which I'm gonna um, can I show them my glasses? They can see your glasses. But they haven't seen hmm. the flame. Yeah, it's a very, very, oh, very light it? scent. Smell it. Very light. Very, very light. There's I thought it smelled more. more size of I, th these glasses. I thought it smelled more than that. So I'm gonna be putting some of this into my <coughs> spray. I haven't sprayed for a few days and I am just over two weeks after washing. There's flames on the sides these glasses right, don't watch your film please and it makes it dark. um yes i've it's been two weeks since i last washed my hair um the reason for that is uh dreadheads do tend to go longer and i do want to go longer because i believe repeated washing is probably not helping now i have been a little bit flaky which i've suffered from before but the brushing seems to be helping that so i'm really really pleased that the brushing is helping with mostly everything um, I'm still quite wispy on the ends, but I need to crochet hook that and, um, you know, tidy that up. But yes, you can be bothered. Um, so I've, I had to style in all day. Um, I put it up about eight o'clock. It's now 10 to one and it's quite comfortable. Very minimal makeup, bit of blusher, some highlighter, 
um i did my brows and mascara i've got no eyeshadow on i put lightener on because my glasses are ever so slightly tinted so the second i put them on my eyes immediately look quite dark so you can see how light they are without my glasses because i used um what did i use i used this which is instant anti-age eraser and it's a multi-use concealer and i put that on my lids and around under my eyes but you can see the difference from like that and then I put these on and there's just a, ever such a slight tint. So I kind of lose the lightness. Um, I quite like the look. It's a very subtle little look, you know. Um, I would have put lipstick on, but I've got Daryl with me for the day and he doesn't like it. These earrings, these belong to my mother. She bought these 30 years ago, I think. 30 odd years ago, she paid a lot of money for them. Uh, they're gold and she she bought them because she absolutely adored them and she'd had her ears pierced um to she used to go to like conventions and stuff because she's a huge star trek fan and she bought them to her to conventions and she had her ears pierced and i would show her how to change her earrings and all that but she doesn't make them anymore um and um then she took the earrings out and she stopped wearing them because she's got quite fat lobes I don't mean that horribly she just has quite plump lobes and she finds regular earrings uncomfortable so she just took them out stopped wearing them she didn't really see the point she thought it was a hassle and when um she started to wear glasses she actually struggled to do these up and um she kept them for ages and she wouldn't let me have them and for years i was like please can i wear your earrings please can I wear your earrings and she would say no and all of that lot and i finally managed to get them off of her about two years ago i think it was and they've become my go-to earrings. I wear them in my stretch lobes, which has possibly shrunk down to about an eight mil, six to eight mil now, because um, I've stopped wearing my stretches. And these are my go-to earrings. I wear them all the time. And she actually said to me yesterday, I'm really glad you wear those. And I was like, oh, yeah, I said they're my go-tos. And she said, I'm really, really glad that you, you look after them and that you wear them. I was like, yeah, I said, I wear them every day if I remember to put them in. Do you know what I mean? I said, they're comfortable. They're really lightweight. I suspect they're probably hollow. Um, they sound hollow. Do you know what I mean? But they're, they're so, so pretty. And, you know, for, my mum doesn't wear jewellery, okay? She she literally she doesn't even wear a wristwatch anymore she used to always wear a wristwatch but now she's blind she just doesn't see the point because she can't see it um she did wear her wedding ring um she stopped wearing that because her hands swelled up not from arthritis or anything like that we we have quite chunky hands in our family the women and she got to the point where her wedding ring was too small for her so she took it off um and that was it she doesn't wear necklaces she doesn't wear earrings anything like that so you know she doesn't have jewelry i mean when i die callie's gonna inherit shit tons of jewelry because i've got a lot i've bought a lot of jewelry over the years but um my mum doesn't have anything this is probably the only thing she still has or still had and i'm just really pleased that she gave them to me so yeah they're kind of nice and they sit there quite nicely in my stretch lobes which are almost you know you wouldn't know from a distance that those are stretched would you I mean, you can't really tell there. They just look like got slightly long earlobes. I, I am kind of hoping that they will all the way. We'll see. We'll see. Right, I'm stepping away quite merrily. I've got five and a half thousand steps, which is good. Um, I've got seven and a half thousand to go because it's my power day today. Um, I've changed my watch face and i am just clearing on that. and i'm using the siri one so what it does is it, which is another reason why i'm time blocking on my calendar um because the siri face doesn't show o waves and that it shows um reminders and my calendar <laughs> so my brain wouldn't quite click there um so at the moment for example it is showing me in sandown that it's quite windy which it is you know and that then at 2 35 i've got to do the school run well i don't because you know daryl's off sick so i'm gonna cancel all that on my calendar and move it to next week because he's not going to be going so yeah 
so I don't move it I copy it over um to the next day because then you know I can't see um whether they were done or not if that makes sense it's, it's, I know what I mean but things like plan tomorrow make a smoothie they need to go into tomorrow um yeah so it's all a bit pants at the moment um like for example this week i've put in my get up charge watch drink tea morning routine meds which i haven't yet done pick up dolly do my chores <coughs> i've put those in until friday and uh i've deleted the school run because uh daryl obviously isn't at school this 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 week now so yeah <coughs> oh excuse me um yeah it's taken a bit getting used to time blocking i must admit i don't i'm not i don't know i'm not 1000 percent sure on it but it's easier to see it all on the calendar than it is to be using no waves so it's like tonight I need to put the bins out tonight. I haven't added that in. So if I add that into my calendar, what I'm gonna do now, put, oh, I think it's recycling tonight. So let's, cause I used to have this on here. Um, uh, um, nine o'clock every night. at time of event I think I'm actually going to add that back in to um, just drive me to do it because I used to and, and I keep forgetting I need a calendar that's got chores I might change the 53 one to, to chores instead of being 53 yeah I think I will I'm going to go and play with that. <laughs> I will see you later on. Have fun. So yesterday I showed you that, or, you know, whenever, I showed you that I had some hair growth coming in and I've managed to dread it and I'm in the process of extending it with hair that Miss Elle sent me. Look at his little baby luck. So what I'm doing is I've got my bag of hair that Miss Elle sent me and I'm just going in and I'm pulling out a very small amount, okay, it's it is literally like that and then what i do is i rub it between my hands and i love the fact that like she's gonna hate me for saying this there's silver hair in there hang on i'm just gonna straighten up a little bit there's silver in there as well so it's it's cool and it's slightly purpley which is really good she sort of had like a burgundy dye on there and then what you do is i'm just gonna line it up with the floofy part of the end of the dread and then just dread together her hair dreads so beautifully, you guys. I mean, you could just agitate this and it would felt. That's what her hair is like. There we go, getting a little bit longer. I'm just doing a little bit at a time and joining all the little bits together to um, give me that extra bit. So there we go, got another bit of hair here. And you rub it between your hands and that helps like knot it up slightly so you end up with, you know, a little bit of hair like that. And then you get your little dready bit and you basically like, I wrap it round the floof from what's already there. And then I'm just going to get my hook. Um, I'm going to crochet together. I'm also going to go around to help tighten it up a little bit. 
and it is so easy to do with her hair because the way her hair is you just pull all the looseness in and then it's it's dreaded it's great i could quite happily have done my whole head in her hair <laughs> i really could so there you go so i've literally done this in about 10 minutes flat because my little my my little bit <laughs> extends to about there you know so i had about an inch and i thought well i'll add some more in and um we'll go from there just need to pull some loose bits in at the top just to make it nice and tight And the thing is, this will tighten up in absolutely no time at all. Give it a quick palm roll. And there you go. So I'm probably just going to keep going for a bit and, you know, get it a nice length. Um, you know, I'd like to get it sort of double what it is now. It's sort of there on me, so I want it at least double. But I can add to it whenever I feel like it, really. Um, so, yeah, I shall have two micelle dreads. Hopefully the top will hold. It's quite a large section, um, you know, but I'm hoping as the hair grows, I'll be able to pull it in even more. The trick is to not squeeze the hook as I'm doing it and aggravate my thumb. And also not to pull the scalp so tight that it's hurting. So there. Yay! <laughs> see if you can see the scalp. Can you see the scalp? That's where it's coming from there. And then that's it so far. So yeah, I'll let her know tomorrow that I've made another dready. I might use her hair again over here as this grows. If it doesn't get pulled into any of my other dreads. Let's get that one out of the way. I mean, that's quite a thin one. Um, but I think I could quite happily put like another dread here. So it's it's going to be quite a thin one, as you can see. There's not a lot of hair there, but it is growing back. The trick is to do it without putting extra strain on the, the roots, which are, as I said the other day, recovering. I've just gone through and tidied up all of my ends. They all look quite nice and tidy without being too floofy, which is cool. I'm just going to keep them like that. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm going to keep going with this and I'll be back in a little while. Oh, done. So it's, it's quite long. Um, it's about the same length as like the one next to it i used um you know these to sort of give me an idea but it blends in quite well that's it there so all i will continue to do now is just palm roll it to help it set yeah it's slightly darker than my other ones but then you know she dyed her hair so yeah so i'll send her a message in the morning and say Hello! did another dready <laughs> with your hair so i just have to watch to make sure that the top all stays dreaded in together um but yeah i mean her hair it just dreads beautifully you guys i mean look at that it's just fab it doesn't get fluffy it doesn't get annoying or anything like that that will stay now i won't have any issues with that she has great hair for dreading so i will just Sort my mop out, and there you go. It's it's blending in quite well. That's it there. Um, yeah, so very happy with that. Just stand up so you can see it. Yeah, so that's it there. Um, the other one is the one with the bells, <laughs> and it's probably this one is probably my longest dread because, like I say, she was, it was just so easy to do. I just kept going and going and going. I stuck bells on the end of it. So yeah, that's two dreads made with Al's hair, Miss Al's hair. Um, if you wonder why I call her Miss Al, that's because that's what her channel name is. I mean, I could have made this one a little bit longer, but you know, 
it kind of falls in quite nicely with the others. Yeah, her channel name on Twitch is Miss underscore L underscore Knits. So if you want to go and say hi and say that you've come to her via me, she would appreciate that and so would I. She now has quite short purple hair last time I looked at her social media. Um, so yeah, it just it's amazing how much of a difference adding in just one more dread makes, you know? It's made a lot of difference to the gap that was there. So eventually I'll be able to get over here and do this one as well and turn all of this into a little dread. I could probably do it, but it's really, really thin and I'm just gonna wait for it to gain a little bit of length before I do. And then I'll just do another thin one. So yeah, there you go, yay! Loving it, loving it, loving it. So I'll send her a picture in a minute. So there you go. I'm gone to bed in a minute because it's five to 11. So it's past my bedtime. But yeah, I've um, basically done a shit ton of maintenance on the ends to pull in like the majority of the loose hairs. Um, I can see on that one, I need to tidy up the end of it. So it starts off like looking all floofy, <laughs> can you see? And then what you do is I go down the dread. So I start at the top and I go down. And then when I get to sort of towards the end, I go the other way. And what I do is all this floof here, this floof here, this floof, I fold it back up and then you get your hook and you go like around the dread. So you can't see it, but it's like a tiny loop of hair. And then you go back around and catch it the other way. And it sort of makes like a chain down the side of the dread and you just do that loads and it like creates this really tight frame cage sort of thing around your dread and you just keep going and pulling the hair in and um, you know you can work back up and down the dread and then it sort of pulls it all in and then when you've got this little extra bit, you just go through and pull it into the dread. And then your end looks that much neater. So yeah. So the best way to do it is to like pull all the hair to, to the side so that you can get hold of it. And you want it all going in one direction. So you've got hold of, I've got hold of some hair here and I'll hold that and then I catch it with my hook and I put my hook sort of between the loose hair and the dread itself kind of thing. And then I just go backwards and forwards, pulling that hair around, pulling all the loose hair around until it tightens up around the dread itself. Sometimes it tightens beautifully, other times it doesn't. So I'll have to go through the dread to sort of secure it. But yeah, this is working quite well. So. But yeah, I've um, tightened up the majority of them. It's made a heck of a difference because they're not quite so fluffy anymore. Which is good. So I'm going to finish this up and then I'm probably going to go to bed. Because I've got to get up early because I've got a nail appointment. And I want to add in some of my extras, I think. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. When I go see um, my nail tech. I've got two nail appointments now before Christmas and I think I'm going to ask for my Christmas nails tomorrow. I was going to do it at my next appointment but my next appointment is like Christmas week and I figure tomorrow is December so I think I'll just say to her do Christmas nails now and then I'll have Christmas nails for the whole of December which I think would be quite cool. I'm having red and gold. That's what I had last year and it looks so nice. So yeah, I'm going to ask it. And it shouldn't be too hard to do. It'll be a new set because um, I've banged and caught a few of these. So there you go, that looks better. Um, I could do with a new set now to... Um... God, my keyboard's filthy. Um, yeah, I could do with a new set because what I do when I go to her is I have... Um, infills a couple of times and then she gives me a new set and it works really well that way just 
cleaning off my keyboard because <laughs> it's filthy. Oops, I just made that full screen. So yeah. This is a great little brush. I should use it for makeup really because it's really fluffy. But I don't use it to clean my desk. <laughs> I might clean it and then start to use it for like my face powder or, you know, yeah, I think that might be quite nice for face powder. <coughs> I think I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna clean that and use it. Right, so there you go. That's how you turn a little stubby little piece of hair into a great long dreadlock. Good morning, it is Wednesday. I'm hunting for my car. Is that it? All the way down the end of the fucking room. Alex borrowed my car because he drove over a nail and um, he's waiting to go in and get it, get the tyre done. So he's been using my car. I'm pretty sure that's my car down there. I can't read the fucking registration from here. Looks like my car, all the way down there. That mine's here. So yeah, I'm off to get my nails done. <laughs> Had a nice chat with my grandson this morning. Well, I chatted and he sort of went Ugh! at me and drawed lots. So yeah, see you a bit later. Hi, we're doing a video. We're using this thing again. He loves this thing. So what did we do today? I was really scared today because I had a test of COVID vaccination. Oh, you had a COVID test? Yeah, I had a COVID test and it was you really a PCR scared. Test. You had to have a PCR test done because he's got a new continuous <coughs> cough. <coughs> he doesn't have COVID. <coughs> he has a cold. But the school demand that he has a negative PCR test before he's allowed to go back. Um, because our walk-in centre is uh, busy and we couldn't get an appointment, we had to have one done at home. And which he came today and he was very, very bright. He was very scared, mm -hmm. which is quite understandable because he he doesn't remember really having the one at the hospital when he broke his arm because by that point he'd had like a bit of morphine and, you know, it's all a little bit cloudy. Oh, yeah, now I remember, you remember that. remember she just... put the thing in the nose, didn't she? Do you remember? Oh, got it. Yeah. So he doesn't fully, no, leave it alone. He doesn't fully remember it because they'd given him painkillers by that point and he was quiet. Um, so today, There's you know. There's a green dot on my thumb. And um, he, was, he was very, very nervous, very scared, but you were very brave, weren't you? He sat on Carl's lap and crying. he put his head back on Carl's shoulder and we, we twiddled it around in the nose and counted to 10 on each side, didn't we? So... Because he didn't want me to go in and, and do the tonsils, which is, you know, with a cough, I quite understand that. It makes me want to puke when I do it. But um, they said for children, if you can't get a throat swab, you do each nostril. I, I hope I did it right. I <laughs> far enough, you know. Um, but he was very brave. He, he did get quite upset, but you were so brave. I was just about to say I was crying. I know you were. Oh, no, you were. So he's feeling quite sorry for himself now, even though it was like hurts. five, six hours ago. And, my head and your hurts. head hurts. You better go to bed then. Oh. Give me my doohickey and go to bed. No. <laughs> um, and also, I was doing this to Kyle. He's been absolutely yeah, please don't do that. that hurts. He's been absolutely fine today. Um, he's just coughing. He's got a cold. Um, he gets cold most winters, really. Um, it's not surprising he's got cold this winter, um, you know, because. They've not been the and also, together, so. also, we sung this song, and it a part of it is that the snowman bring the snow where we just might like to know. I like the song very much. Let the bells ring out for Christmas. How dare you! Let the bells, bells ring out for Christmas. Yay! You wait. I know, know that voice anywhere. Are you a part of the band to make that music? Because Mwah. you have all the voices fused into one. Mm -hmm. Right, so 
it is now 6.86. You're going to bed soon. And I'm stepping. I'm watching YouTube. He's watching. I Let me need build. another 4,000 steps. <laughs> Let the bills ring off for Christmas. Uh, yeah, that's what we searched for earlier. Um, yeah, so it's a quite nice, quite evening. Um, I'm yeah, going to we'll go from there. I'm going to so. eat it. Right, no, you're not. Give me. So say see you later. See you later. Bye. Tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to do a video. Tomorrow I'm going to wash my hair. Yeah, a video. <laughs> Me and Mum are going to have lots of... Needs a wash. So, yeah. Alright then, say see you later. See you later and me and Mum are going to have a lot Bye. of fun tomorrow. Due to the fact that Daryl's not at school tomorrow and other than having Dolly, we don't have anything planned, I'm going to wash my hair tomorrow because it's been... Yeah, it's been a, be three weeks on Saturday coming saturday since i washed it so it's not doing too bad um typically dreadheads don't wash their hair as much because it's a faff really um so i figure i'll wash it tomorrow then it'll probably be good for another couple of weeks um where was i going yeah um because i've got this shea moisture shampoo to try so i'm gonna give that a try it's got manuka honey mafura oil and fig extract mm, lovely i didn't actually smell it it doesn't smell or anything that's a shame so i've got that and then i've got my jojoba oil and i think what i'm gonna do in my spray bottle is i'm gonna plonk some of this aloe vera gel some rose water and a couple of my other oils and the jojoba oil and give it a good treatment as well um, some people seem to think you should do it before you wash. Some people think, seem to think you should do it after you wash. I'm really, I really don't know. I'm a bit stuck. A bit stuck. So, yeah. We'll see. I'm quite drunk. Quite drunk. I don't know whether this is going to make the, um, the final cut. My hormones are raging. <sighs> One of my friends is definitely pregnant. Someone else is quite probably pregnant, as in very faint nines. Someone else is trying. another baby I'm 46 and a half nearly there are a bazillion and one reasons why I shouldn't have another baby and one reason why I should because I want one it's not hormones because I said when I started trying for Daryl that if I was going to have him, I wanted to have more than one. That that was the deal I made, that Daryl wouldn't grow up as an only child, uh, because I did. It was seven years between me and my sister, and 11 years between me and my older sister. They're from my mum's first marriage. My dad was in the army. So I grew up in Germany because my dad was posted out there when I was a baby. So I don't really have any connection really to my sister, either of them. I don't, I don't socialise with them. I don't, they're just there, you know, and I didn't want that for Daryl. My relationship with Daryl is very, very close. I mean, he's a fantastic kid. He's just, he's just a brilliant kid. I can't, you know, even with the bias of being his mum, <laughs> you know. God, I want another baby though so much. 
And there's those parts of me that says you're 46, you know, when the baby comes, you'll be 47 if, if I was to get pregnant right now. Daryl's seven. That's a heck of a gap again. You're overweight, which, you know, it doesn't help. Being single isn't an issue. I've always been single, really. That's that's not that doesn't worry me. But the hormones are raging as well, and it's just <sighs> don't know, don't know what to do. Ideally, I'd like. I'd like someone I know to go, yeah, I'll donate to you. And then just walk away. I don't I don't want a guy, I don't I don't want a bloke, I don't want a relationship. I don't I don't even want sex. You know, I just I want somebody to just give me a cup of sperm and then to fuck off if I then get pregnant. Stuart and I were trying. Throughout our whole relationship, we were trying. And it didn't happen. And that, in a, in a way, that, that tore me apart because I didn't have anything of him afterwards. I can't obviously have Stuart's children because he's gone two and a half years. I don't know. I, d I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about it. I don't know whether to try and find a donor or whether to just tell my body to shut the fuck up until it all goes away. I mean, how do I know this isn't hormonal? How do I know? You know, I've, I've wanted another baby for eight years. You know, since since I decided, yes, I was going to have Daryl. I said right from the very word go that I didn't ha want to have just one more. That I would want more than one. And I don't, it's not even like, you know, some people are like, oh yeah, I've got to have another baby to, for them to have someone to play with. It's not that at all. I don't think Daryl lacks for anything. You know, he's got, he's got very, he's got a lot of friends. He's very popular. He's got a friend over the road. He's got another friend down the road. You know, he's got MJ who he adores. He doesn't lack for friends. He doesn't, he, he, you know. He wouldn't care either way, I don't think, if I had a baby or not. I think he might be a little bit jealous if I had another one. But I think that's only natural. I loved being pregnant with him. It was a really hard pregnancy, carrying him. And I started... Trying to get pregnant again almost immediately, you know, within within sort of five, four or five months, really. And it didn't happen. I even stopped breastfeeding him at eight months because I thought that that was preventing me from getting pregnant, which which I really regret. I really wish I'd been able to keep feeding him. He was my longest breastfeeding story, really. I... I don't know. 